Hi everybody, it's Random Terry here again. Welcome to my channel. Um, <clears throat> today I'm bringing you a Big Lots haul, as you saw in the thumbnail. It's kind of a large one, but there's duplicates on here. So, with that being said, I walked in there because I had um, seen that they had outdoor rugs on sale and my patio needs a new one. So we'll start off right with that. <clears throat> Maybe I'll be able to get it over here where you can see it. So I found this, oh, forgot what size I got. The six foot, six foot, seven inches by nine foot, which is a pretty good size for what? $69, good bargain on that. Um, and I don't know if you can see that's like a picture of the rug. So it's gonna be kind of just that black and gray color. I thought it was kind of pretty um, with what they had. I like this one best. So, and I usually, I have one out there now that kind of blows around a little too much and it's kind of small, it doesn't fit under my bench. So we'll see how that works. And then moving along, I did need some more zipper bags. So I believe this was um, 38 bags for something I believe can't tell offhand real quick but I won't waste time trying to look it up but it did seem like a fairly decent price even with buying like six or however many you get in the Dollar Tree brands for uh, boxes so 38 bags zipper bags like them bottom hefty basics um, then I came across this, which I realized I was running low on, so I bought a nice new thing of Dawn. I love Dawn. Um, it does cut the grease fairly well, in my opinion. And I can't tell you how much that was either. Oh, yeah, $3.75 for 28 ounces. So, and that is the Ultra, so you don't need to use too much of it. And then I came across something which I thought, ooh. It just really smells so good out of the box. This is what um, I might keep for my clothes and stuff and maybe for the sheets. Uh, 90 sheets in there. The Bounty Bliss is the first time I've seen it. Um, don't know. They probably do have it at Walmart, whatever. I don't know, but I found this at Big Lots today and thought I would grab that. And that... Nope, can't see that there either. I don't know where it is. Downy, 90 sheets, 450. So, but darn, I paid it because that smells so good. Um, and then I'm going to move along to something I saw when I came in, which another thing that I like, uh, they had it for a um, dollar a can, is this sparkling ice caffeine with zero sugar. Ugh. So, there were four for four dollars if you bought four. So, I bought 12. Bought a whole lot of them. And they had strawberry citrus. I got double of each of these. So, strawberry citrus. Orange passion fruit. Black raspberry. Mm. Blue raspberry. See what the tastes are on that difference and I believe this is triple citrus and then they had a few cans of these and they looked about the same and I thought yeah. uh, the can top looked a little different but um it was plus caffeine zero sugar but this was where's the flavor cherry vanilla so I thought that sounded awfully good so I got that one also let me put these out of the way and then on my register along with getting something to drink uh along the register i saw mountain dew rise energy and 180 milligrams of caffeine immune support mental boost um equals two cups of caffeine let's see serving size is the whole can it's got 25 calories in it Bunch of vitamins, bunch of caffeine, 
but uh, I saw this because they had like a, a cardboard standing display and the top had this fragrance, strawberry melon, picture of that and something else. And I searched through the thing to find one strawberry melon spark to taste. So that's another drink I got. And then back in the grocery area, um, I saw another, yep, sugar-free, um, Weiler's Light value pack. It was $2 for 18 singles, but it was strawberry lemonade. And I was like, oh, I like the lemonade, I like the strawberry lemonade. So that's that. Keeps me from getting the cherry lemonades from the Sonics. So I'm set for summer drinks. And then we'll move into like some of the food items that I found. Right off the bat, they had like a big display and I thought I'd buy this for my husband since I'm not going to be eating any of it um, right away. But it looked so good. Cheese and caramel mix. Popcorn. What do they call it? Handcrafted small batch popcorn. 100 calories per cup. Non-GMO. No artificial pres uh, preservatives. Creators. So... <laughs> That just looks so good. He likes popcorn. I thought maybe I'd buy him a little snack. This whole big bag. It's a huge bag. It has a pound, six ounces. And it's pretty, pretty hefty. Um, filled to about there. Yeah, that's about there. Five dollars. So I thought I'd buy that. They had a ton of those. Um, so I thought I'd buy him one. Um, and then I did need coffee. It was on my list, but um, I saw these at Big Lots. So Dunkin' Original Blend, Dunkin' Donut, the original blend. And I thought I'd try the Starbucks Veranda Blend. Uh, it is like a blonde roast. And the tasting notes are toasted malt and baking chocolate. So it's a blonde roast. So I'm guessing it is not as burnt tasting maybe as I think Starbucks usually is. That's my opinion. It kind of over roasted to me. I don't like that strong roast flavor. So the blonde roast, we will see. Um, not sure. It doesn't really tell me too much about it. Subtle with delicate nuances, soft cocoa, and lightly toasted nuts. Yep, blonde roast is not a dark roast. It's a lighter one. And technically, or not technically, but many times I've heard that if you don't roast too strong or too long, whatever, a lighter roast is usually higher in caffeine. Keeps the caffeine. I don't know if that's true or not. Never looked it up, but that's what I heard. So, maybe... Arabica coffee and that's that and then you have the Dunkin Donuts or they don't even call it Dunkin Donuts anymore it's just Dunkin uh, dropping everything there medium roast original blend Dunkin I remember liking Dunkin Donut coffee when I used to be around where I could actually grab a cup of it in an actual store so I bought those so I'm set with some once again set with drinks uh, and then I ate a couple cans of tuna yesterday, and I realized that I don't like chunk light. Mm -mm. I like my solid white. Solid white albacore tuna, bumblebee. They had this. I grabbed a couple while it was in front of me. And then I saw something else, and I thought, oh, sliced banana peppers. Um, I just realized I used up the rest of them that were in my um, in my fridge for something and forgot to put them on a list and this reminded me I thought it's in front of me I'm grabbing it hauled that and then I saw something that I thought I would try I didn't try this before um coconut oil non-sticking non-stick cooking spray not non-stick cooking spray get it out uh so I've never seen one with coconut oil I'm sure they've been out there but I just never seen it um so I'm gonna try some coconut oil spray I also I also use um Avocado oil spray, too. And then, as I'm going through, um, I saw a display for Rubbermaid containers. And I saw this one. Lord knows, like I've said before, I, do I need more plastic containers? But this 
is like a um, party tray container. There's two of them. It was ten dollars. Let's see. So it comes with your trays. Really? Okay. Get it together, Terry. Okay. Um, so you've got your lids. You got your tray, which is a pretty nice size tray because I can't count the number of times that I've tried to set up like a party tray kind of thing. Uh, meat, cheese, fruits, veggies, and then wanted something to put in the middle of it that would fit. But this comes with one twist and seal container that fits in the middle of it very nicely. So you can have your dip with the twist on thing and it won't spill into your stuff while you carry. Get it there. I'm getting it all the way on there. Okay, it goes on pretty nicely. So while you carry your, um, your party tray in, and it's quite attractive. Uh, I just thought that was kind of cool that they came with that little container in there too. So I bought that. Not quite sure where I'm going to store it, but um, I had that. Does that fit back on? Yeah, for now. Okay. Um, and then last but not least, oh nope, not last, not last yet. Um, I found these little bowls. They're kind of. There are eye level on the shelf as I was going by. <laughs> Boing, right there, eye level. They caught my eye. They're so cute. They're just a nice little bowl. What do they call them? Tidbit bowl. Uh, they were $7 for the set. And it's like a nice, it's like a rubber band here around them. Get one up. So there they are. They're melamine. And they're just a nice size. Um, sometimes I like to serve desserts if I make puddings or something in little dessert things. And I have my little glassware up there that they're kind of old and I don't want to use them. And I wish I had some fancy glasses and dishes rather. Um, not for use in microwave oven. Didn't want to. Dishwasher safe, top shelf only. I believe they're melamine. Not sure. But I just love that little print around there. And it doesn't tell me how much it holds. But I could, you know, fruit, yogurt, little, well, little tiny ice cream bowl. That's, I eat more ice cream. That's, my ice cream bowl is more like that party platter tray. Um, but um, I like ice cream. And I've been controlling myself lately. So that's good for me. Um, so I bought these four bowls. And yeah, I love these. They're just so cute. And um, I also use little bowls like this when I'm prepping in the kitchen. I'm cutting some onions or something. Sometimes I use that or if I, it's, I have a set of prep bowls. Instead of dragging them out, I usually just go into the cabinet that's right there that has my little dishware, which um, I, these will come in handy. And they make me happy because they're so cute. And I don't know if you can see that print on there. It looks like a crackled finish behind the swirlies. Not sure if that's coming in. Too close, maybe? I don't know. Okay. But it is pretty. It's kind of got that crackly looking finish to it. Oh, maybe you can see it like there a little bit more. So, um, those are my bowls. And then, last but not least, I found something and I kind of had to get it. And it was $8 t shirt. Sarcasm may occur periodically. Get it? <laughs> ah, I just thought that was kind of funny. Um, so I thought I'd get it. Get it and wear it around. Summertime to here. So um, that's it for my haul. I'm going to see if I can maybe 
roll out that rug, pause this, and take you outside and show you what my outdoor rug looks like. So, um, be right back. I'm going to pause you and take you with me. Hey everybody, I'm back out on my porch and I'm going to try to give you a little peek at what this rug looks like. Um, got to spin it around a bit, but it is kind of pretty. Just underneath and stuff, it'll have to be, um, it'll have to kind of roll out a little bit. But it's a pretty large size, and I think maybe I could have gotten the smaller size. But I like the large, and I like it kind of going up under my porch where. So um, that's my uh, Big Lots haul for today. Um, did so many Dollar Tree hauls, you might I might have slipped up and said Dollar Tree, but it's my Big Lots haul here. Um, and that's it for the day. Sorry, I'm a little bit flushed through at the end trying to get this picture of this in. Uh, I hope you guys have a happy remainder of your weekend and a great next new week. See you again next time. Bye.